Hello everyone and welcome! In this video we'll be checking out rally cars and the engineering behind them as I was invited by Subaru to check out the Oregon Trail Rally where David Higgins and Craig Drew participated in their brand new 2015 Subaru STI rally car. I had the opportunity to speak with the team engineer Jonathan Carey who provided insight on this year's vehicle. The essentials of the car are four-wheel drive and a turbocharger. These are among the various restrictions of the class Subaru competed in. A Subaru exclusive restriction is a 33mm restrictor plate in front of the inlet of the turbocharger. The other teams are allowed to use a 34mm restrictor plate in an effort to keep things competitive, and engineer Carey says that even though it's only a 1mm difference in restriction, it accounts for about 40 horsepower less. The restriction plate is the only limiting factor in performance. There's no limit on power or fuel flow, but ultimately you're limited by oxygen. Subaru uses a 2.0 liter based on the EJ20 engine from the JDM STI. It uses a single Garrett turbocharger to produce over 40 pounds of boost gauge pressure, peaking at about 320 horsepower. Though the power level may seem low, it's important to note that the torque curve is much higher earlier on than a stock engine. There's also an advanced anti-lag system on board which injects air into the exhaust to keep the turbo spooled between shifts. The engine lasts for about 1200 stage miles. The exhaust is also unique for rally cars with a catalytic converter being placed at the very end of the exhaust, essentially the tailpipe. The reason this is done is to allow for some time for the exhaust gases to cool before reaching the cat. If the cat was closer to the engine, there would be too much heat and it would essentially melt. The team engineer claimed that with proper sizing, they have no performance loss with the catalytic converter, regardless of if it was there or not. Engine power is sent through a six-speed sequential transmission to a center differential, which splits the torque 50-50 to the front and rear mechanical limited slip differentials. In regards to the body and aerodynamics, Dynamics, Subaru essentially uses the same aero kit for all of the stages. They claim that it's optimized for about 90% of the stages, so it doesn't require changing for each event. There's a double element rear wing for downforce with yaw vanes to keep the car straight and stable. The front bumper is designed for downforce and there are vents above the engine to evacuate hot air from the bay. On the sides of the vehicle, large side skirts may appear to be for aerodynamics, but in reality they're there to protect the rear doors and quarter panels. Apparently in previous years, the doors have been damaged badly in each stage, which requires a good amount of time to repair, and with these large side skirts it hasn't been an issue. Finally, there's an air scoop on top, which serves two purposes. First, it provides cooling for the driver. It also aids in creating a slight positive pressure in the cabin, which helps to keep dust out of the interior while driving. With regards to the suspension, it's all about traction. The suspension overall is much softer, about one-third the spring rate of a normal car, and as much as five times as much travel. For higher speed stages, the ride height is lowered for stability and the suspension stiffens slightly. If a stage has more cornering, the setup will include slightly more negative camber. The tires can be divided into three sections which all have a unique role in providing traction. The outside of the tire is angled and swept outward, ideally clearing away gravel, sand, or stone depending on the surface. There are also cornering treads on the outside edge of the contact patch. The center has straight cut grooves and is set up for high speed stability. The inside of the tire is set up for traction and braking, with wide rectangular tread blocks. The sidewall is much stiffer than a traditional tire, with 8-ply reinforced Kevlar aiding to prevent the occurrence of a puncture, in addition to beads on the sidewall for extra protection. Subaru is limited to 14 total tires per event, which must be selected before the event begins. There are numerous types of tires, ranging in compound stiffness from soft to hard, and some with more grooves cut out for improved control in the wet. Because the tire size is restricted to 15-inch wheels, the brakes will typically be fairly wide to accommodate for the lack of diameter. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below.